Hi guys, it's Kathy with FUMSnow.com. And I just wanted to thank you all for checking on me because I did post I was having um, a colonoscopy and I did and everything went fine. You know, the colonoscopy part, actually getting the procedure done is no big deal. You go in, they knock your ass out, you wake up, it's done. Um, it's the prep that's <laughs> no bueno. Um, typically, or it used to only be that you would get these big gallons of horrible, salty tasting, did I mention horrible, liquids that you had to consume and quickly and then the fun would begin um, the night before. Yeah, but that was very vomit producing for me, so I couldn't keep that stuff down. Um, and they now have pills. I mean, they have for a long time, but I tried pills this time. So I wanna just tell you about that experience. I won't be too terribly graphic, but um, the week before my colonoscopy, my doctor asked me, which the, by the way, the type of doctor is a ga gastroenterologist. And he asked me to eat um, highly digestible foods. So no fruits, no veggies, that sort of thing, low fiber diet. I mean, when are you told to eat that? In fact, he gave me the thumbs up on ice cream and I thought I was in heaven. So that's the week before. The day before, it's clear liquids, nothing but clear liquids um, and like black coffee. It's not fun. Um, Jello, lots of water. And then, so I was having my procedure. I had to be there at seven. I was having it at 7.30. So at six o'clock the night before, I was to open this bottle that had 12 really large horse pills and I took them. You have, I think, 15 or 20 minutes to take them all with a 16 ounce glass of water. I took them all in like five minutes. I just wanted it done. And then I just drank the water and then you wait an hour, drink another 16 ounces, I think another half an hour or an hour and you drink another 16 ounces. Um, and strap on your seatbelt after that. Actually, for me, it was within minutes of taking those 12 pills that things started to happen. Um, and I was pretty busy for a number of hours till about 10.30 or 11, something like that. And then I was able to turn off my light, go to sleep, relax. But then I had to set an alarm for 1.30 in the morning, get up, take 12 more, drink 16 ounces, wait, drink, drink 16 ounces, that's not easy to say. Wait, drink 16 ounces. I was pretty nauseous for about 20 minutes. Um, and you know, everything continues to work. So it's unbelievable just when you think there can be no more, magically there is more. Anyway, it's a lot of commitment <laughs> to time and energy. And as you can imagine, I mean, that is stress to your body, right? And our MSE bodies don't like stress. So of course, my right side went numb. I was pretty cog foggy. Um, I ended up with quite a bit of pain. Um, you know, the whole, the, you know, whatever your stuff is, yeah, it'll probably be pretty pronounced. That's how it was for me. Went, had the um, procedure, everything went fine. I came home and I was so tired. I had only gotten about two and a half hours of sleep the night before, so that makes sense. But all of the MS was very pronounced after that. And I spent the day in bed. I just was no good to anyone. Um, now, I, I slept a solid eight hours, which last night, I can't remember the last time I've done that, but I did. And I felt great today. I feel great today. Um, but I had posted that I had um, was going in for a colonoscopy here and on several other socials. And people were so kind, thank you for checking on me. But also, several people enlightened me on this, and I talked to my doctor about this. And yes, you can do this, and I just wanna share because this is how I'm gonna do it next time, faux show. And I highly suggest you think about it. It is called a colon hydrotherapy or a colonic. So they kinda of do the work for you, sort of. So typically this is a service offered at a spa. There's a spa near me. And um, there is a tube that is actually placed and they run warm water through your colon and extract all that is um, joyfully released um, for you in about an hour. An hour, 
and then you get to, you know, go on about your day and, and, and anyway, the point is you need to schedule this right before you've scheduled your procedure so you get to sleep the night before and you're not feeling sick and you're not running to the bathroom for hours on end. So much less stress in our bodies, right? Um, so the people that messaged me said they didn't really, their MS didn't really get angry with them. So I just think this is chef's kiss brilliant and I will absolutely do it. My doctor thought it was cost prohibitive and for some folks it will. I have to have this done every three years. Um, I've got a family history of colon cancer. So if I need to be putting money away, I absolutely will. But I checked on it here locally and it's about $125. My pills were 60, that's all I'm saying. Do the math. This would be so much easier and I think a much smarter way to go. So anyway, consider it, colonics, who knew? F-U-M-S.